around before you go. How about that? I'm all your sweetheart. Uh-huh. Um, I was thinking. Yeah. Since you enjoy what I offer. Yeah. Why don't you make me your only girl? Mm? You said what? Make me your only girl. Come on. I should make you my only girl. Of course. Ah. Uh, I should make you my only girl. Mm -hmm. When you can't even afford what I asked you to give me. I should make you my only girl. Come on, baby boy. You know, I can always make you happy. Eh, yeah, oh yeah, make me happy now. Let me see. She you know I can do anything to make you happy. You can do anything? Of course. Yeah, start doing it now, so okay. I can see. What's that? 50,000 Naira. 50,000? Yes. But 50,000 is too small now. I know, baby. You just have to make do with that's for now. What is 50,000? Don't worry. By the end of the month, you're going to get more. Please, I asked for 100,000. What's 50? What, what will I do with 50,000? Come on now. I'm, I... not, I'm, not, I'm not that cheap. You're not. I know. Come on, baby boy. Don't worry. By next month, I promise you, you're going to get 200,000. Hello? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yes, I saw it. I, I was wondering. If, yeah, thank you very much. How are you? Huh? <laughs> oh, Mandy! Oh, you're busy. Yes, what is it? Why are you bugging me? I'm sorry if you feel bugged. Besides, I don't bite. I'm harmless. You're not just harmless. You're nothing but a toothless backing dog. And tell me, what else do you want from me? What do you want? Um, I just want to know you if you don't mind. You just want to know me? You just go about seeing every girl you see on the road and tell them that you just want to know them? Is that how you behave? I, uh, excuse me, hold on, hold on, um, I only want to, um, get to know you, okay? I didn't mean to, to, to get you upset. Mandy, this is a simple question, but you've decided to play dumb on it. What are you doing here? Ask again, what are you doing here? <laughs> I guess we both are here for the same thing. Babes, please, can I have some private time with you? Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? What private time? With who? Babes, what is this prostitute doing here? Hey, 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 shut it right there. Never you in your miserable life call me a prostitute. And if I do, what will happen? Eh? What will you do? Are you not a prostitute? If you're not a prostitute, what are you doing in my boyfriend's house? Do you have a boyfriend? Anyways. Let me give it back to you. It's your grandmother. I mean, from your mother to your grandmother to your great grandmother. That's if there is great in their name. Look at who is talking. Look at who is talking. Eh? Did your mother give back to you in a brother while a man was even on top of her? That's better. Jealous she oh. was. Stupid girl. You are too cheap. Hello. Hello. Well, look at your filthy hands off me, you swine. Come on. You are too beautiful for this uncultured behavior. Okay? I mean no harm. Excuse you? What did you just call me? Uncultured? Huh? Omalita, you have suffered. Oh. Your name is Omalita. Son of a millipede. Oh, sorry. I'm educated by name. Nice meeting you. No one cares about your stupid, idiotic name. Your stinking, smelling name. Please, get out. Can I at least give you a lift? Give your mother a lift. Mother is you are mad. Mad. It's it's your, 
Your family is mad. Are you serious? Family of slot. Your mother, your father, what everybody in your here? family. If you're not a slut, what are you doing here? If you're not a slut, what are you doing here? I'm in my boyfriend's house. Oh, oh, lady, I'm in my boyfriend's house. house. You you don't, don't, you. That's not bad. Ah, he's my yeah, boyfriend. You have, share, you have to cool down. Share what? I can't share. You have to give him information. You can't affect me. You can't affect me. You can't affect me. You can't affect me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. Jobless and no candidate. You want to affect me. Look Are you serious? You, you cannot came right right now. Now. Baby. Are you not done fighting? No, baby. We've not even started. We have not started. Imagine this mad dog you let into your house attacked me. And I know that she really needs to be chained. Oh, perfect. You just recommended the perfect remedy to tame your wildness. She wolf. Bitch! You are a bitch! Oh. Stupid girl! No, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you, you called her a dog and she called you a she-wolf, right? Um, the last time I checked, um, a wolf and a dog have no business in this house because I am not an animal, I am human. So wolf and dog kindly leave my house. Baby! No, wait! wait. My girlfriend is on our way here and I don't want her to see me. You know what? Your girlfriend? Come, 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 come. Uh, baby, come, 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 let's baby, go. You know my hey, let's go, let's go. Come, 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 come. Come, come. My honey pot is endless. You yes. go, my boyfriend said you should go. Go. My... Come here, come. Come out. Baby, you know my honey pot is endless now. It's so sweet. Eh? My honey pot. So this is where she lives. That's good. This girl is not doing bad for herself. But is that why she's so rude? <laughs> anyway, her rudeness won't stop me. I think I found her. Find the one. Yes, madam. Oh? Now this animal away there here, why no one as he take dress? Amokri, what are you doing here? 
I still say you don't replace me, sharp sharp. Is that supposed to be an answer to my question? Amalita, <sighs> you good. No, the way you take on me for this girl, what I done there for how many years? You good. Did you just call me by my name? What I found you? Amalita, see that one not be my wala. I beg, I want me to reconsider. I know say you get power now your time you get power, but may you reconsider now. Think they so may you reconsider. Um smart. Yes, madam. Make sure you take this uncircumcised male pigeon out of my compound. Yes, madam. Now. Okay. Hmm? Hey, do you get Shut up! Shut up! You get my same push me, come up, forget me. Come on, later. Come, you see they call my madam by her name. You did the mad? Okay, wait till they worry you now. I know you. I know you. I said, come on, Ross, they go. Omarita, 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 Take your mind. I'm take your mind. Tell this your yeah, yeah. this your yeah, yeah, secret. This your this your yeah, yeah, secret man may push me come off for house. House where me I don't. Me, I'm ugly. I need to push come off for house. I'm out of I'm out of time. I'm Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we are constantly working with other parties to bring out the best. Sure, you see, we are fully committed to this cause and we'll make sure we deliver. <sighs> sir, yes, I understand your fears, but you see, we have put out measures to mitigate it. As a matter of fact, I will send you collated details to that effect. Uh, yes, this is uh, my word is my bond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, no, no. My wife is not in the country, but she'll be back. So during the weekend. Okay, I'll I'll extend your kind words to her. Thank you for your patronage, sir. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And who do we have here? The ever scintillating, gorgeous, charismatic and spontaneous working class lady. All these names for me. Now see, if I need a dish romantic. I... 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 You see, it is in a man's nature to shower beautiful words on a woman. It's common cutsy and not me being romantic. After all, I didn't even say much. Yes, Miss Amorosi. You didn't say much. But the only thing you said is accompanying the touch of magic. And it's only a romantic man that will use his soft and nice ways for his woman. 
Joy, slow down. Slow down. What are you doing here? No, see. You are no longer a child. And I believe you know the answer to these questions. I know you are lonely, and I've only come to keep you company. Keep me company. Joy. Yes. On yes. whose audacity are you doing this? I mean, did my wife ask you to come and seduce me? Come off it, Nelson. Stop being dramatic. How do you mean? That your wife asked me to come and seduce you. I mean, Nelson, you are no longer a child. You are a very handsome man. And I was hoping they wanted me and you to have something to do. And I know you do the same. If you know what's good for you, use the door. I mean, leave my office this minute. All right. I will leave. But think about this. Don't you think being faithful to a dog is a waste of faithfulness? Have a nice day, darling. Here. Stop right here. Stop here. Jennifer, is it that the cockroach is too blind to notice the size of the elephant, or it is dilutional to think you can challenge it to a fist cough? <laughs> Don't you think it's around the bend for a cockroach to consider itself an elephant? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no wonder Elder says that the dead that will kill a dog will first of all take away the smell of excreta from its nostrils. <laughs> this is madness. Did you actually block me here just to recite an ancient and obsolent adage? Really? Man, you're very stupid to ask me such unintelligent question that lacks intellectual equity well i am not here to exchange words with you but i am here to stand upon you to stay off my man else x what x what what will happen you want to know what will happen of course i should know what will happen why you have to block me on the road just want me to stay off a man jennifer are you this jobless oh yes i am jobless you made me jobless so since today you decided to share my man with me and you've been at large since then. I think that's why you don't even come home. Because you know what I'm capable of. Hey, you should shut it up. For you to think that I will be at large and I'm afraid of you. In the same space, we'll pay the same amount of money. Come on, Dad, you should get that off your head. Get that off your head. I will never be afraid of you. Excuse me. Please, can you leave my way? Leave my back right now. Well, uh, did you just call me a well? Uh, of course, that's what you are. And please don't block my way the next time I cross my path. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, I guess that shouldn't surprise me. You know why? You've always been full of surprises. And I love you for that. You know, right? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sunshine, uh, please, just a minute. Eh? I'll, I'll, I'll get back. Uh -huh. Sir. It's the contractual agreement between GF Academic Movie that I want to scan and send back to them. But you need to append your signature here first, sir. 
It's okay. Drop uh, them on my desk and come back say in five minutes. Okay, sir. <laughs> Hello, Sunshine. Sunshine, are you still there? Hello? Hello, Sunshine, are you there? Sunshine, why would you talk like that? How would you say I have a lady in my office? How? The person who just came in now is a secretary, Zara. She came with some files and I asked her to drop, in, drop them on the desk and come back in five minutes' time. Oh, God. I... Sunshine? 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 Not again. Not again. And why would she think I'm having something with the secretary? How? 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 Oh, when will this lady learn how to trust me? When? So, I'm trying to understand why, or I'm trying to understand the reason behind two grown adults fighting themselves over a man. My question is, are you the first women to share one man? I mean, what's all this nonsense? Why are you embarrassing yourselves? Well, she was the one who attacked me on the road. I only defended myself. Oh, you only defended yourself. But you're looking like you just fought a ghost. You look horrible. Look at your face. Obiezi. Ma? Is that all you have to say? What I have to go to through all this just because of you. What do you want me to say? You can see it's a very big mistake coming here in the first place. Thanks for your kind words. Uh, well, well, maybe I should have said, Oh, sorry. Sorry. Maybe I should have pampered you. Probably get some ice block to place on your forehead. But listen, I'm, I'm very embarrassed, you know. I mean, two grown adults fighting over a man. Come on now. You guys should just enjoy the moment. Go with the flow. That's all I'm saying. Thank you very much. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? But I think you should go straight into the bathroom and wash yourself because you look horrible. You look really ugly. With all the punches and all the scratches on your body, trust me, it doesn't look good on you. Well, busy. Ma? Oh. I think I have to be. Use the washroom, clean up yourself and you may confuse it. Sorry. How are you, Shay? Okay, I'm fine. Darling, get a visitor. Get a visitor. A visitor? Yes, sir. Which visitor? A he or a she? Na, na, she. I believe she's speaking where. Huh? She. Now, that, uh, that's Madame friend. That's her friend. Where they come? With her. Which? Sir. Sir? That Madame's friend? Yes, sir. And you let her in? She said she will be back in two days. I ask you for the very last time. What in God's name are you doing here? Nelson, I had liked to believe that I was explicit enough the last time I visited your office. And I thought by now you'd have come to terms with reality. And I also want to believe that my message was explicit enough when I ordered you out of my office same day. So what reality are you... I mean, do I have to come in terms with? 
Now say, why are you getting my advances on you? Or are you trying to tell me you don't have these small girls to play with around? Maybe you're scared of your wife, Sylvia. Joy, what do you want to achieve with all this? Are you here on a come and test me mission? And if I may ask, what was the meaning of what you said the other day about dog and faithfulness? Oh, I see. That got you thinking. I asked you a question. Why you are rejecting my advances on you? And if the answer to that question is faithfulness, Nelson, I tell you, your faithfulness is a waste. Because your wife, Sylvia, is not even faithful either. She has numerous of them, even in the country she visits. Joy, I warn you for the very last time. I warn you for the very last time. I do not want to see you nor have you anywhere around me. Except if my wife is around. Now, use the door. Don't shout. I will leave. Use the door now! But I tell you, the offer is still on the table. Because I know you will change your mind. And when you do, you know where and how to find me. There is no mind to change. And there is nowhere, if there is anywhere to find it in hell, if there is anywhere to come in this place, deny that. Live here! Nowhere to find who? Find you, I'll find you in hell! And you think I'll fall cheap for this ploy? Hell no. Hell. Behold on. I hope my wife is not responsible for this. Possibly they both planned to come seduce me. It won't work. It won't work! If you have any plans to destroy my family, it will never work! My family will be intact! Rubbish! Nonsense! Come here. You see that lady that just left? Today should be the first and the last time she will ever come to this compound without my wife being around. Do you get me? Do you understand? Good afternoon. I beg you, who you defy? Omalicha, um, is she in? You mean my madam? Yes. Is she around? I want to see her. Mm. Okay. Mm. But you have to wait. Are they come?
Yes. No, no problem. I, I, really, I understand what you're saying. If it works for you, it works for me. Um, oh, hold on, please. Yes, any problems? Yes, madam. Now, one man say they look for you. He's looking for me. Yes, madam. Did he mention my name? Are you sure I'm the one he's looking for? Uh, madam, the guy called your name. Okay, let him in. Hmm? Let him in. All right, madam. Good. Oh, hello? Okay. Pardon. Okay. All right, madam, say make you come in. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, it's me. Omanicha, how are you doing? What are you doing in my house? I must say, you have a very beautiful place. Nice one. That doesn't answer my question. Wait, how did you even get to know my house? <laughs> oh, don't tell me you followed me that day. The question is not necessary. I'm already in your house. How I got to know your house is not a big deal. Meanwhile, I got you something. Oh, please take this rubbish out of my house. Are you crazy? Get out of my house! Why not at least offer me a seat? Let's talk. Oh, please. I will not just offer you a seat. I will offer you a hot bed, you fool. Now leave my house. It's all right. I will leave. Get out. I just want you to know that I find you attractive. And I want us to connect. Well, I find you irritating. And I will never connect with a buffalo like you. Now get out. It's alright. I will leave. I know it's not going to be easy. But I will keep trying. Have a good day. If I come and put this nonsense. This girl is obviously not going to give in anytime soon. But just like every good thing they say don't come easy. I don't expect her to. I will keep pushing till she becomes mine. Yeah.
why is your face like this? And um, who was that guy that just walked out of your house? I hope he's not the reason for the anger on your face. Well, yes, he is. Oh, that is my problem. Seriously, he had the guts to show his face in my house. What's the problem and what does he want? What else would he want? He wants to date me. That moron, that ugly thing wants to date a beautiful goddess like me. Can you imagine? Let that guy be. He saw something good and he admired it. <laughs> Who no like Ben Ati? Well, I do not like him. Yes, I don't. So he should stay the hell away from me. Monkey no fine, but mama like him. Well, a mama too no fine, what you expect? <laughs> oh my <dear. laughs> This is your mouth, eh? Ah. Um, anyway, you guys will make a good couple, you know. <laughs> yes. Don't even start. Uh, I'm just joking. Ah, ah. Someone cannot even joke with you. Not for me. You change your plans. I wanted to surprise you. And I obviously did. Sunshine, can you slow down? What are you saying? Get out. S sorry, ma'am. How are you now, son? Sunshine. First you came back from Switzerland without letting me know. And now you're asking me how dare me. For what exactly? How dare you? How dare you stood so long? As in, of all girls, it is now your secretary in the office. Are you mad? Shame on you! What are you going to do about it? Do you want to hit me now, son? I'm asking you. Do you want to hit me? Now what do you think you're doing? Come back here now, Sen! You are walking out on me? Oh. He has obviously grown wings! Alright then. Alright, I'll see you at home. Try the best I can to be a better man. That kind of hobby you we look at and call baby. You keep suspecting me. Do you think I'm a dog? Hey, everything I do is never pleasing to you. Hey, can I keep myself? Do you want me to hang myself? She's annoying and I'm only trying to hold myself I'm holding on for a very long time And I can't hold on anymore Cause she's so very, very tossy Nelson! Who was the girl you brought into my house today? Girl, I brought him here today. I don't understand. Are you asking me that question? My friend, who was the prostitute you brought in here earlier today? I still do not understand. Oh, really? Sunshine, how would you ask me such a question? I mean, how on earth would I bring in a cockpit into our matrimony at home? Oh. All right. I came back. For me to see a movie, I earned the gadget. Boom! Pun was already playing! And you're telling me you didn't bring anyone in here? Now talk to me. Who was this prostitute 
you brought in to watch the sinful movie with you. Sunshine. Sunshine, you're mistaken. It's not porn. Yes, it contains some erotic scenes. It was an ancient Roman movie and not porn. So you look at me in the face and say that I am mistaken. Are you joking? Are you for real or what? Sunshine, I just told you it is not porn. How can I see a pawn with another lady in my own matrimonial home? How? I've told you everything. Except if you just want one of those are troubled. Oh, just shut up! How dare you talk back at me in my house? Do you realize you are living in my house? It is my house, my heart, and money. So keep quiet! You don't have a ghost to talk back at me. Can you imagine? Did you not realize that you're living in my house? How say you? Hey, young man! Pray to your almighty God that I don't catch the prostitute you brought in here. If I do, your name will be sorry. Believe me, you will be sorry. Yes. <laughs> I, I brought my wife to the salon here. Whoa, you married? Yeah, I'm married to the best woman in the world. Oh, good to see you. Wow. Oh, here comes my wife. Is something wrong with you? Now let me have the cabinet. Give it! Hey, if you don't clear from the road, I will crush you. Get out! What the hell is spell? Hell. Come on, do not be unfortunate with me and answer the damn question. Who the hell is spell? This idiot has been calling. My cousin. Really? Yeah. My dear, you are indeed a bloody liar. I mean, what cousin are you talking about? This idiot has been calling your line more than four good times and you say it's your cousin. Are you mad? I'm asking you. This girl even had the guts to ask me to pass the phone to you. I take. Yeah, because she didn't want to speak to you but myself. Really? What's all this now? Sylvia, does it mean any girl that calls me is my girlfriend? Of course. Really? Of course. And no girl has a right to call this line apart from me. Emoma? Of course! I'm real. God damn it. I mean, for God's sake. Did you buy me? Don't tell me, did you buy me? Am I not a free person? Listen, you receive calls like every day. Even at night, regular calls. Have I ever questioned you? By the way, who are they, by me ass? Are you mad? Hola? What is wrong with you? So you've grown so much wind to talk back at me! I brought you in here, mister! This is my house! You have no right whatsoever to challenge me! Are you mad? Are you sick in the head or something? Oh! 
and you have a gas. But tell me that. You're walking out on me. Nelson! Come back here, Nelson! So Sylvia thinks she can be slapping me anyhow, anyway, and whenever she likes and I cannot do anything? Look at the embarrassment before my secretary. How will she now regard me knowing that a woman I call my wife slaps me at will? Look at the way she came back without telling me. How can I be in a house as a husband but plays the role of a houseboy? Am I even a husband or a glorified houseboy? This is becoming too much and I can no longer smooth it on my cheek and pretend nothing is wrong. Not anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I try the best I can to be a better man. That kind of hobby you will look at and call baby. You keep suspecting me. Do you think I'm a dog? Hey, everything I do is never pleasing to you. Hey, can I kill myself? Do you want me to hang myself? She's annoying, and I'm only trying to hold myself. I'm holding on for a very long time, and I can't hold on anymore. Cause she's so very, very tizzy. She's so tired. Oh, I can say she's so And she's so toxic I'm very, very annoying Oh, what type of a woman she is At the same time she is toxic and annoying I can take it anymore Cause she's so I'm very, very toxic And I She's annoying Kind of hobby you will look at and call baby. You keep suspecting me. Do you think I'm a dog? Hey, everything I do is never pleasing to you. Hey, can I kill myself? Do you want me to hang myself? She's annoying, and I'm only trying to hold myself. I'm holding on for a very long time, and I can't hold on anymore. Cause she's so very, very toxic. She's so tired. Oh, I can say she's so and she's so toxic. I'm very, very annoying. Oh, what type of a woman she is? At the same time, she is toxic and annoying. I can take it anymore cause she's so I'm very, very tense And I She's annoying, yeah You So like I said, I just obliged you. So go on, tell me what you have in mind. Can I ask you a question? Wait, do, do you think you're a fine girl? What, what, what are you feeling like? What the hell is wrong with you? Obez, I am not fine, but I know you want me. I am a nobody, but I know some people who always draw at me and swallow their stuff. Here, good morning, sir. Here, good morning. Greetings, sir. Yeah. Welcome to King's Paul Hotel and Suites. The right place to be, sir. Any available room? Sure. Oh, sure. Yes, uh, fancy and the ones available. Can I drop this in? Sure. No, I'll just help you hold. Yes, I'll hold it.
will that be all? Yes, sir, that's all. Uh, the potter here will take you back to your room and he will be at your service. Absolutely, sir. Kenley, follow me. Oh. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Master, you're just an ordinary hotel porter. <laughs> Fine boy, my dear. Uh, sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, would you be needing anything else? Uh, not at all. Not at all. At least for now. Okay, sir. <laughs> Sir, um, I, I can see you don't look very strong. <laughs> you look very tired and uh, I don't know, you might need someone to help you relax. Yeah. And, uh, you know, give you some, some massage and, of course, a happy ending. <laughs> we call them escorts. They're all of them. Very pretty young girls. Big backside. <laughs> Listen, if you need any of them, just call the reception and ask for Obi. Obi is there, but Obi for short. And I'll hook you up, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Where did they say Nelson went to? Ma, I, I don't know, ma. Just that he came back and, and left immediately. Yes, immediately. Did you see him leaving with any luggage? No, ma. Oh, yes, yes ma. He left with a, a small bag. Oh, Just honey shoe. Sorry. My friend, get out. Thank you, ma. Thank you. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah, can't your problem go inside? What's it concern me now? Who now you get man? Why I be? Hey, someone say, who check this? Who check that? Who check that one? How I take no? We are oga go. What's your oga carry? And what's your oga no carry? Huh? I dey here so hunger they hold me, sleep they walk carry me. Everything they do me, hit step they knock me. I beg, you gonna leave me? I beg. Who now you get man? I be. Ah. Now send. Because I caught you with your secretary. That's why you decided to elope with her. My brother, you go, go. Come back. Meet me for this house. It's yours. On what audacity are you doing this? I mean, did my wife ask you to come and seduce me? Come off it, Nelson. Stop being dramatic. How do you mean that your wife asked me to come and seduce you? I mean, Nelson, you are no longer a child. You are a very handsome man. And has only wanted me and you to have something to do. And I know you do all the same. Joy, if you 
know what's good for you. Use the door. I mean, leave my office this minute. All right. I will leave. But think about this. Don't you think being faithful to a dog is a waste of faithfulness? Have a nice day, darling. Nelson, I had liked to believe that I was explicit enough the last time I visited your office. And I thought by now you would have come to terms with reality. And I also want to believe that my message was explicit enough when I ordered you out of my office the same day. So what reality are you... I mean, do I have to come in terms with? Nelson, why are you getting my advances on you? Or are you trying to tell me you don't have these small girls to play with around? Maybe you're scared of your wife, Celia. Joy, what do you want to achieve with all this? Are you here on a come and test me mission? And if I may ask, what was the meaning of what you said the other day about dog and faithfulness? Oh, I see. That got you thinking. I asked you a question, why you are rejecting my advances on you? And if the answer to that question is faithfulness, Nelson, I told you, your faithfulness is a waste. Because your wife, Sylvia, is not even faithful either. She has numerous of them, even in the country she visits. Joy, I warn you for the very last time. I warn you for the very last time. I do not want to see you nor have you anywhere around me. Except if my wife is around. Now, use the door. Don't shout. I will leave. Use the door now! But I tell you, the offer is still on the table. Because I know you will change your mind. And when you do, you know where and how to find me. There is no mind to change. And there is nowhere, if there is anywhere to find you in hell, if there is anywhere to come in this place, deny that. Live here. Nowhere to find who? Find you. I'll find you in hell. And you think I'll fall cheap for this ploy? Hell no. Hell. Hold on. I hope my wife is not responsible for this. Possibly they both planned to come seduce me. It won't work. It won't work. If you have any plans to destroy my family, it will never work. My family will be intact. Rubbish. Nonsense. First, she said remaining faithful to a dog is a waste of faithfulness. Then, if I'm rejecting her advances because I want to be faithful to my wife, then I am wasting my faithfulness. And then again, she said my wife has many substitutes, even in the countries she travels to. Could this be true? Yes, I think it is. That's the only explanation why she suspects everything I do. I have closed my eyes on women since we got married just to make sure I can be the best husband to her. But no, she would rather I be an elevated houseboy. I've tried the best I can to be a better man That kind of hobby you will look at and call baby you keep suspecting me Do you think I'm a dog? Hey, everything I do is never pleasing to you I, Can I kill myself? Do you want me to hang myself? 
She's annoying and I'm only trying to hold myself I'm holding on for a very long time And I can't hold on anymore Cause she's so Very, very tight She's so What? Thirty years? <clears throat> this is good news. Wow. This is what I am talking about. Oh my goodness, God. Amazing. I'm smart. Yes, smart. Smart. Smart! Yes, sir, madam. Yes, madam. You know what? I am so excited at this point, and I am celebrating. So I am going to be giving you this. But I'm a big dog in April Fool. Smart, we are not in April, and I'm not doing you April Fool. I'm giving you something from my heart, and I mean it. Chick. But I'm still looking at it. My hand holds. Take this from me, please. Hmm? Take. Hmm? My hands are hot to me. Can you just take this? But I'm still looking at it. Take. Thank you. Enjoy with me. <laughs> you, you can have this if you want. Look, I can this one too. You can. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Uh, Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much. Do not break my glass. You know, if I break, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, madam. You're welcome. This is not the reason why I called you, and you know it. Why did you send me those pictures? And how did you even come about them? How did you get the pictures? Yes, it does. Listen, I will take those pictures to her if you don't start talking now. Can you, can, 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 listen, listen, can you tell me what you stand to achieve with this?
Is that the front desk? Uh, please ask for Bieze to come to 215. for me? Yes, I did. I'm here. The customer in room 215 requests your presence. 215? Yes. Okay. Anything else? Nothing, but I'm curious. I mean, he specifically asked for you. Is there a problem? I mean, I hope there's nothing fishy about it. I hope there's nothing fishy about it. No, there's something meaty about it. Aren't you the one who told him uh, you'll be sending assistance to him the moment he walked in here? So what are you trying to insinuate? I'm not saying anything. It's just... I'm just saying... No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Keep saying. You know what to do? I don't have your time now. When I have your time, you hear from me. He called him by name and asked to see him. I don't trust this guy. It was my business. Come in. Hello, sir. Yeah, hi, sir. No, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, sir. It's okay. You, uh, I remember you told me about uh, extra services. Yes, sir. We call them escorts. What's your weight? Sir, it all depends on what you want. You know, a man got to do what a uh, man got to do. I totally uh, understand you, sir. I, I, I massage the body's, uh, the body needs some touch. Yeah. You know I, mean. I know what you mean, sir. Totally understand. I don't know how strong your contact is. I would need someone. I mean, someone fleshy. I love flesh a lot. Sir, you can count me. How do you like them, sir? <laughs> sir, I mean, full body, full engine. Like I said, flesh. I got you, sir. Just give me a second. I'm sure. actually, yeah. Love is a short one. You can count on me, sir. Ooh. All right, thank you. Ooh. Yeah, very because you think say you don't reach since more girl of yesterday because you think say you don't you don't you don't you don't show for you now you come make me come out, make you come out and hold me. Or more key. Of his sacred kingdom. You carry me, come on me, come put me for streets. Come on me for where they see small, small money chop. They said this was no balance. But now people like you. People like you are married to no, no, they make a man no balance. But you see this one? I go balance her. Oh, married to I go balance her. Oh, married to you get mind. Oh, married to you get mind. I go balance her. If I balance and finish, at that time, you don't say this life. Eh, you get people where they run out. You get people where they run out.
he is still not picking his calls up until now. Hmm. Let it not be what I'm thinking, oh. It had better not be what I'm thinking because I will so deal with him. Hmm. But could it be that something has happened to him? No, no. I don't think that's the case here. He left knowing fully well where he was headed. And I'm sure he had already booked for this appointment before I returned. Nelson. Nelson. We shall see tomorrow. A.M. baby boy. Seven. <laughs> How did I sleep this leg? Seems like I've not even slept at all. Of course. You had a lot to drink last night, so. Yeah, I soaked myself in alcohol. Oh. Why not spend some more time with me? I would have loved to, but I... Uh... I understand. <sighs> oh, I understand. I do, okay? Well, I can assure you I'll take good care of Then why then are you being so defensive of my husband if you have not slept with him? I left this company for both of you to take good care of my company. No! You chose to turn my office into your sex parlor. No, ma. Ma, no. Now you listen to me, young lady. I need you to get back to your desk. Pick all your rags. Pick those data things you called your belonging. And kiss goodbye to this company forever. I do not want to see your ugly face anywhere around this vicinity. Oh, my word. From you. I, you will regret the day your stupid mother gave back to you. Ma. Hey! I give you only 60 seconds to remove your data set from this building. And the clock is ticking right now. Tick, tack, tick, tack. There to go. And as for you, Nelson, <laughs> I say they will deal with you mercilessly, without mercy. Welcome. I've been waiting for you for past 30 minutes. And how is it my business if you've chosen to be miserable, useless, and irresponsible and jobless in life? How is that supposed to be my business? Tell me what part of leave me alone that you do not understand. What? Omalicha, the part that will stop me from seeing your beautiful face. Listen, all I ask is for you to give me a chance. A chance to do what I said if I may ask. A chance to know you. A chance to love you. A chance to... Oh, Sham! Oh, shit! He don't anana. Oh, shit, my friend. Now you listen to me. Today will be the very last time I am going to tell you to leave me the hell alone. The next time you come near me, I am going to shoot you and arrest you for me. 
Now take your walking self out of my compound right now. Get out. Hey. I am so sorry for what happened right now, okay? She's not always like this, eh? Maybe something happened, that's why she's like this. I am sorry. It's all right. Uh, um, my name is Amaka. I'm her best friend. It's all right. Um, Amaka, I really appreciate it. Please, give me one minute, okay? This is my card. Please do give me a call if any need arise. Okay. okay, okay. Thank you very much. Like I said, I am so sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> bye now. What's the meaning of that nonsense? I just told the guy off and all you did was to stand back there and discuss what nonsense with him. Why are you trying to be the good girl that you're obviously not? No, I was obviously clearing the mess you created. Excuse you? Meaning what? Omani Cha, you were obviously rude to the guy. At least be civil. Excuse me? So I was uncivil? Really? I see someone has already been bought over. Omani oh, Chao. No, he's bought you over already. No. Omani oh, Chao, you need to be good to this guy. Even if, you're, if you don't like him. At least be good to him. You need him more than he needs you. You think so? Yes. Where is this coming from? Omani oh, Chao, you know your business is not doing well. The business that you've refused to introduce to me. So you need this guy to stand for you. This is the right time. This is the person you need for your business. Please, think about it. You know, I'll pretend we never had this discussion. Because you sound sick. And I'm going to the kitchen to make something to eat. You can come with me if you want. Could he has gone? Where else? Where else if not hotel? Look at what you're asking. And the hotel. Maybe with women spending my heart and money. Drinking. To think that Nessie had to leave when you returned to the country? <laughs> of course. You know, I didn't tell him I was coming back. So I'm sure he had all this planned out and all of a sudden he saw me. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. There's something I'm not getting here. See ya. Something is not happening. Yes, Did anything happen between the two of you when you returned back to the country? No. Nothing. Just that I batched in on them. Of course. Him and the secretary. You needed to have seen the position. They were in an uncompromised position when I brought them. I'm telling you. And that was it. I confronted my husband. 
he picked the fence immediately, using it as an avenue to cheat on me more. So, are you trying to say he's cheating on you with the secretary? Did you not hear what I said? Of course! He is cheating on me. Of course. Now, you needed to have seen what that girl wore to the office. Pant and bra. Very short dress. I'm telling you, I had to sack her immediately. What? You of course did? I did. Why not? I would have even done more, but just that I decided to let it be. <laughs> the only problem I have now is just, uh, you know, to lay my hands on Nelson and that's it. I need to find Nelson. That is just my problem. This is serious, Celia. <laughs> really, really serious. Obi Obi, boss boss. Obi Obi, boss boss. Smart Obi. <laughs> Cute Obi. Boss. I think I like you. <laughs> boss, everybody likes me. <laughs> boss, that was a joke. <laughs> but that's the truth, nevertheless. Yeah, you're funny. Thank you, boss. Yes, you are, and uh, I understand. Let's see. What is a young, handsome, and uh, smart dude like you doing as a hotel porter? <laughs> Boss, I get this question every time. Yes. But the truth is... Yeah. Boss, you know it's a shop for you now. As a shop for you, you know, not really understand what's in the sock for the country. If you understand. <laughs> but Boss, the truth is... I graduated with... The two one. I studied international relations and uh, I, I couldn't find a job, so I found myself here doing hotel relations. <laughs> hotel relation, indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. Skills, man. Hello, Chief. No, I'm done with everything I've uh, yes. But I'm not uh, I'm not available at the moment. I'm not. However, I would instruct my secretary to do the needful. Of course she can, she can, she's capable. Thank you, Chief. Thank you very much. Okay. Boss boss, I have to go back to work. Yes, boss. Boss, the truth is, I I know the job is below my expectation, but it puts food on the table, and I I can't afford to lose this one because I don't have any other ones. Yeah, I understand, young man. I do. I understand. But you see, your alliance with me would uh, would elevate your status. Ah. A smile on your face. Ha! Ah, boss, boss! <laughs> <laughs> boss, boss! Thank you, boss. I appreciate boss. I understand. Boss, thank you so much. It's okay. Boss, you're not a senior man now. <laughs> <laughs> boss, I hate you. I just told you now, your alliance with me would elevate your status. No problem, boss. <laughs> thank you, boss. All right, thank you, boss. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, hello. Chief Theophilus called and uh, he demanded for those documents. I would want you to scan the documents and send them to him. You said? You are not in the office? Why? My wife sacked you and you didn't tell me all this why? Why? Sylvia sacked Zara because she thinks I am sleeping with her. Should I even be worried about that? 
this is the list of what Sylvia can and I shouldn't be surprised. I think I have to go to the office tomorrow and send Chief his document. He shouldn't be caught up in the web of Sylvia's madness. Jennifer, I don't understand. You called me out here and you're not saying anything. What, what's wrong? And you've not answered my own question either. Obiese, you know what you did to me was wrong. Until now, you've not even apologized. Apologized for what? Why should I apologize to you? Listen, I don't remember telling you I'm a saint. Did I? Did I tell you I'm a pastor? You never did. But at least you know that Mandy and I have been friends for years. And what you did has created a, a big gap between and us. And so freaking what? Both of you are children. Both of you are kids. Eh? Well, what's wrong with having sex with one guy? There's nothing wrong with it. You guys are just kids. That's why. Really? Is that all you, you should be happy. You should be happy. That's yes, all you have to say. That's all I have to say. And you need to hurry up because I need to go back to work. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about unimportant people and things that doesn't work our time. Okay. I'm pregnant. Hey. Huh? You said what? I'm... I'm pregnant, baby. Pregnant for... Leave me alone. Pregnant for who? For you, baby. Yeah. For me. Who is it? Obiese! Good afternoon, ma. Yeah, good afternoon, beautiful young lady. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Welcome to King's Palm Hotel and Suites. Thank you. How may I help you, please? Yeah, I'm here to see the guy in 215, Mr. Nelson. Okay, ma. And please, is he expecting you? Yes, he is. Okay. All right, my what's your name, please? Joy. Right. Hello, sir. Good day, sir. Yes, this is the receptionist. Okay, sir, there's someone here to see you. Yes, a lady. She said her name is Joy. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Okay, Ma, you can go in upstairs, third room by your left. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Two women in one day. This guy is something else. No wonder. No wonder he connected with Obiese the first day he came in. Huh? Anyway, what do I know? This is where you've been hiding. I beg your pardon. I'm not hiding. Can you make yourself comfortable? Well, it looks like you are. Are you here alone? See where your wife believes you are here with a woman. Okay. I don't care. I don't care what Sylvia believes. Nelson, what happened? Why did you leave? Jay, are you here for a question and answer section? Well, I would say it is part of, you know, I. I don't. Thank you. Let me have your designs back. Wow. I see. So it should be made from our back. 
Beautiful. All the glitters are not gold. All the glitters are not diamonds. So before you make a choice, just try to think it twice. All the glitters are not gold. All the glitters are not diamonds. So before you make a choice, just try to think it twice. You may think that you are winning. Oh, Malicha, you were obviously rude to the guy. At least be civil. Excuse me? So I was uncivil? Really? I see someone has already been bought over. Oh, Malicha. No, he's bought you over already. No. Oh, Malicha, you need to be good to this guy. Even if, you're, if you don't like him, at least be good to him. You need him more than he needs you. You think so? Where is this coming from? Oh, manager. You know your business is not doing well. The business that you've refused to introduce to me. So you need this guy to stand for you. This is the right time. This is the person you need for your business. Please, think about it. You know, I'll pretend we never had this discussion. Because you sound sick. Hmm. This is hard. But Amaka is right, you know. I am literally cash trapped at the moment. And he looks rich enough to lean on. Why he's too ugly for me? I mean, his nose. I don't think I'm ready for a beauty and the beast kind of relationship. But then my money issues won't solve themselves, so would they? Ah. Oh Malicha, you have really insulted that guy Shah. Hello, hello. Will you get your filthy hands off me, you swine? Come on. You are too beautiful for this uncultured behavior. Okay? I mean no harm. Excuse you? What did you just call me? Uncultured? Ha! Huh? Omalita, you have suffered. Oh. Your name is Omalita. Son of a millipede. Oh, sorry. I'm AGK by name. Nice meeting you. No one cares about your stupid, idiotic name. Your stinking, smelling name. Please. Get out. Can I at least give you a lift? Give your mother a lift. Wait, how did you even get to know my house? <laughs> oh, don't tell me you followed me that day. The question is not necessary. I'm already in your house. How I got to know your house is not a big deal. Meanwhile, I got you something. Oh, please take this rubbish out of my house. Are you crazy? Get out of my house! Why not at least offer me a seat? Let's talk. Oh, please. I will not just offer you a seat. I will offer you a hot bed, you fool. Now leave my house. It's alright. I will leave. Get out. I just want you to know that I find you attractive. And I want us to connect. Well, I find you irritating. And I will never connect with a buffalo like you. Now get out. It's alright. I will leave. I know it's not going to be easy. But I will keep trying. Have a good day. But if I come and pick this nonsense, Malisha, welcome. I've been waiting for you for past 30 minutes. And how is it my business if you've chosen to be miserable, useless and irresponsible and jobless in life? How is that supposed to be my business? Tell me what part of leave me alone that you do not understand. What? Omalicha, the part that will stop me from seeing your beautiful face. Listen, 
All I ask is for you to give me a chance. A chance to do what I said, if I may ask. A chance to know you. A chance to love you. A chance to... Oh, Sean! Oh, shit! He don't allow Oh, shit, my friend. Now you listen to me. Today will be the very last time I am going to tell you to leave me the hello. The next time you come near me, I am going to see you and arrest you for me. Now take your walking self out of my front part right now. Get out! Hey. How am I going to cope with that ugly thing being my boyfriend for God knows how long? Gosh, how am I going to face him after all the insults I hold on him? That's another thing. I can't lay to terms watching him lay his filthy hands on me. But it's time to think with my head and not my heart. Oh God, please help me. Hello, Joy. Chelsea, I just returned to the hotel, but the front desk girl wouldn't allow me to see you into your room. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. I was actually rushing out before. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Just give the phone, give the phone to her. Hello, sir. Yes, hello. Is that King's Paul Hotel and Suits front desk? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, please, I, I. I want you to grant that lady access to my room. I actually forgot to drop the message due to some exigencies. Please, don't keep her waiting, please. Whatever you wish, sir. Good, good, good. Thank you. Hello, Chief. Uh, good day, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I... While I was going through the file, I discovered some discrepancies. So I had to fix the record well. I mean, I had to... I mean, correct some of the mistakes I saw there. Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? I, I promise you. I, I give you my words. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.